I'm gonna just, I'm, gonna, I'm recording now, so. Yeah, okay, and you're gonna edit it. So, this was, this is my kid's Lego thing, but you see it's like I got stuff everywhere. When are these Legos from, like the early 2000s? Oh man, I should, don't be. Um, God, no, 90s even, I think. You know what? I wonder if I should donate. Yeah, this is a place that's, this is a giant mess. It's a classic American I was going to use a word before prefacing mess, but you said I should clean up my language, so. But yeah, it's a it's a bit of a mess. This, But this, this could be, each of the kids had a different zone where they were building their empire. <laughs> and then I finally even got into it where I built, um, you know what a flak tower is, right? Flak tower, yeah. Yeah, so they were indestructible. They're still, they're still in, <laughs> they're still in Germany. Yeah, they can't, yeah, they can't so, demolish them. So when I got hooked into this, I built my fl the flak tower. So instead of the Technicolor dream code, it's the uh, Technicolor flak flak tower. Yeah, um, but um, I don't know where you want to start. This so, is this is okay. So, so I'm here with my buddy here here with my buddy Lance. So you were you grew up in the 70s or 60s? I was born maybe? in 1956, and okay. and in the early 60s, the Civil War centennial was going. That was the big thing. Yeah, yeah. And but this was my prize childhood thing. Actually, there's there's a consolidation of two sets here. My brother and me each had there was a set of four, and as you see, there's in various states of disrepair. The problem with this plastic is it it's gotten you know over 60 years it's extremely brittle oh yeah so you see what's happened there's there's mm -hmm. and those but, were crappy designs with those axles the military trucks instead some of them they had like a metal axle that goes all the way through but those independently mounted wheels when they snap off there's no way to repair them um here's so a those are those are probably mpc Oops. which was like the uh I have no the idea. MPC was like the more economic version compared to Marx. Could be. My parents were always frugal people. Usually, There's usually no... like a monogram MPC. I don't see anything on there. Yeah. Well, the the drivers, like that guy that's sitting there, that's an MPC guy. Okay. Here's an example of how the, oh, well, they got yeah. brittle, and I I used uh, some duct tape to try to do a a, a repair. Um. Do you have any army guys? Army men? Yes, I got army men. I, I what what we really should have done is come down here and spend a half hour organizing some stuff. Let's see the army are they over there in that bin there? They're over there. Oh, okay. Well, here, I okay, see some. Actually, here's some. Yeah. And and some of these go way back. Like there's Mary's collections. I should have looked this up. This is this is from a nineteen fifties set that now we had a lot of boys. And of course, me being interested in military, I inherited things from when people got too big. But this is one from one of the earliest sets. I don't know, Fort Comanche or Apache. You can see they're in rough shape. But this is from the 1950s. Um, let's see what else. Oh man, this is a. This so is, these these are these are what they call MPC ring hands. These were the earlier ones that had the goofy face and the actual ring hands. And then the more realistic ones, um, they held the weapons. Um, this is like the one I just did a video on, the Civil War ring hands. They had the blue and gray. Yeah, that I that was one I had. that. This was one of mine when I was a kid. Um, this was from early, either That's late interesting. 50s or yeah, early 60s. I've never seen that one. These are MPC Japanese. Um, Marx had some that were a little bit more realistic that went with the Iwo Jima mountain. Yeah, these were mine. I yeah, was those are good. I was those more cool. into these exotic foreign ones. Yeah, they had Russians that were like sparkly blue. Yes, I got some of those too. I think I may have sold the Russians because they were at a good price. Um, so some people, they don't know if they're not from the U.S., what the, why we call them army men. So like in England and Europe, they have like toy soldiers because they're a little bit more formal with them. The idea of like a like army men is kind of like you go to a toy store and you get like a wiffle ball bat and a wiffle ball. It's just for goofing around. And so army men aren't really serious. They're just for kind of goofing around. You see what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. like you've had those matchbox and Aerofix guys that look like army men, but they're actually like model kit type of miniatures. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. These were from the bicentennial era. 
um, these were the same, same, but with a different color, basically on the production. They kind of look like Tootsie Toy. Timmy or Tootsie Toy, I think. Um, so here's here's what I was talking about with the when the ring hands got more realistic. They looked like this, but they were green. Okay, I've got. We've probably got some of those. And they had the sil the silver weapons that were like kind of soft plastic. Maybe I should dump these out into something. Um, maybe you know what? Maybe when we're done down here, we can take them up to the dining room. Yeah, and this I'll one. Dump this, them out. This one's or, pretty interesting. Looks like a Davy Crockett looking guy. Um, I had a set. Yeah, I had a set that were more sky blue, the same molds, but sky blue. This might be what they would call auburn rubber. They had these rubber, they're really detailed. This Davy Crockett guy. Here's a nice Civil War guy. Do you know what he went to? That was one of mine from the you know bicentennial era. There's Robert E. Lee then, himself. Well, well, as I got older, I started trying to do some experimental painting of some of the figures. Yeah. That's from a cowboy western thing. Yeah. Um, then these are the kind when I was little. They had, uh, these are Timmy toy. The M16, like the classic, like in the 80s at Walmart. This is what you would. Timmy toy was out of Aurora, Illinois. And they kind of kept up with the times. There's a pretty good horse. That, yeah. Oh, that's cool. There's a Land of Lakes girl. <laughs> <laughs> literally that's what it looks like yes so do you remember in like when i was a teenager in, in 93 i would have been 13 and i was really getting into toys and that's when um play sets and stuff were really hot i mean they were very valuable but it was there was even like play set and toy soldier magazines at the grocery store mm. and people that grew up with those play sets started getting into collecting them again and that was before like you know the internet really or ebay and that stuff was going for a lot of money. I think the price actually kind of came down since then. There's Picos Bill. And yeah. some of the some of the Marks play sets actually had celebrity characters like Roy Rogers and people where they actually had a, a figure of like the dog from the TV show or the little kid or like Rin Tin Tin. So some of those Marks um, individual like character figures are, are worth a lot of money unless you know what you're looking at you won't even know them if you see them you have to kind of know about yeah like this right here this is probably mother well that might have been from a um dollhouse they had like a dollhouse play set too but there was some of these where they had like um who was the girl that was with like one of those cowboy shows it was like gene autry one of them they had like a girl sidekick and like a jeep like a jeep they drove around yeah. in well, I, legend has it there was a Civil War set. Actually, I knew the set, and there was in each set had one figure of a guy, like the horse was going. Down, oh yeah, yeah, you got and, shot, and, mm -hmm. and, and there was only one of those in each set, and that was that's the one the that's worth a lot of, of money. That one going for hundreds of dollars all by itself. Yeah. Yep. I'm sure, you remember the dead German with the MG42 laying across his chest. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> there was an American getting shot. That was with the, with the uh, guns in Navarone.